The Gizmo Explorer Kit, a comprehensive solution for embedded developers. Video 3, Assembly and Turn-On of your Gizmo Explorer Kit. In this video, we will show you how to assemble your kit and run the demo. First, start by installing the standoffs on both the Gizmo board and the Explorer board. Next, connect the Explorer board to the low speed connector of the Gizmo board, like so. For this demo, we will not be using the Sage Smart Probe. This probe has a limited license and we want to make sure not to use it when it is not needed in order to maximize our trial time. The Ethernet and USB cables are for the Smart Probe and so will not be used in this demo. We also will not be using the Sage EDK disk. The numeric keypad plugs into the GPIO header on the Explorer board, like so. Be sure to pay attention to the alignment of the keypad to keep from plugging it in upside down. Now we are ready to apply power to the board. Plug the power supply into a standard wall outlet. The power supply cord plugs into the gizmo power jack, like so. Notice that when power is applied, there is an LED that lights up on the gizmo board and the Explorer board LCD panel illuminates. In order to turn the board on and start the boot process, press the power button. Notice that when pressed, another LED lights up on the board, showing that the board is turned on. At this point, Sage BIOS is loading and initializing all of the circuits on the board. At the same time, it is delivering the payload which in this case is the demo. When the demo is loaded and starts running, you will see the gizmo, AMD, and Sage logos being displayed on the LCD display. Now you can use the numeric keypad to interact with the demo. Press the pound key to halt the displaying of the logos. You will see the number sign appear in the display. At this point, any key that you press in the keypad will be reflected on the display. To resume the auto display of the logos, press the star key and you will see the gizmo logo reappear. To power off the board and halt the demo, press and hold the power switch until the LED turns off. Notice that the LCD display remains illuminated with the logo image visible. That is because it is a static display and it will continue to stay on as long as power is applied to the board. The power plug can be removed from the power jack to completely turn off the board. Our next video will show you how to connect the smart probe to the gizmo board and use the Sage EDK to write a short program that can be flashed into the Sage BIOS payload to replace the demo program.